everyone, this is Megan from the Toasted Marshmallow Kitchen. In today's video, we're making three easy dinners. First up, we're making slow cooker garlic and herb meatballs. To my slow cooker, I'm adding in one pound of frozen meatballs. These will get seasoned with a few dashes of Italian seasoning and black pepper. Then I added in a fourth cup of water with a fourth teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder, but you could just use regular chicken broth instead. We love this garlic and herb spreadable cheese from Aldi, so I'm adding in this entire package. This will cook on low for six hours. After the cook time was up, I gave this a quick stir and poured in a splash of milk. I just used skim milk, but I'm sure any kind would work. I sprinkled in some Parmesan cheese and then this is followed by about half a pound of pasta that I cooked over the stove. I made sure to save some of the pasta water and poured in a splash of that to help the sauce out. This got mixed well and then was ready to eat. Next up, we're making slow cooker garlic parm chicken wing dip. To my slow cooker, I'm adding in about one cup of cooked and shredded chicken, as well as 12 ounces of cream cheese. Next, I'm adding in half a cup of mayo and a fourth cup of apple cider vinegar. I'm using up however much Parmesan cheese is left in this container, then this will get seasoned with garlic powder, dried parsley, black pepper, and salt. Two tablespoons of butter will get tossed in, and then this will cook on low for four to six hours. Once everything has heated through, I'm giving this a final stir and we're having this with tortilla chips. Next time I would skip the butter because all that really did was pull up on the sides. Even with the leftovers, the butter didn't get absorbed in. We also had hot dogs on this night. Now we're making pot roast wraps. I'm taking a soft tortilla shell and spreading a thin layer of mayo over it. Then I'm taking a slice of provolone cheese and placing that on top. This is followed by leftover pot roast that my mom gave me. You could also use deli roast beef instead. This will get topped with french fried onions and then get rolled up and placed on a baking sheet. I'm going to repeat the steps with the remaining ingredients. These will get sprayed with nonstick spray and then they're going into the oven at 425 degrees for 10 minutes. This is a perfect way to use up pot roast leftovers. This is one of the meals where you can barely recognize what the original meal was. Thanks for watching. All recipes will be linked in the description box.